Hello students, I am Kongli, working as an assistant professor in BVC Engineering College. I belong to EC department. In this video, we are discussing about introduction to linear wave shaping. In this, we learnt about the definition of linear wave shaping and what is linear network and what are the linear elements and uh, the response of linear network by different inputs. First about definition. Linear wave shaping is defined as the process of altering the form of non-sinusoidal signal by transmitting through a linear network. So I, again I am uh, giving the definition again. The process of altering the form of non-sinusoidal signal by transmitting through a linear network. Altering form of non-sinusoidal signal. So now, what is linear network? Linear network is designed by linear elements and which obeys homogeneity and principle of superposition. <coughs> so now, about linear elements. So linear elements are the components which are resistors, capacitors and inductors. So, resistance can be represented by this symbol and the capacitor is represented by this symbol and inductor is represented by the symbol. And now, let me tell you what is resistance and what is capacitance and what is inductance and its units. And resistance is the property of the element which opposes the flow of current and the units are ohms. And the capacitance, capacitance is the properties to store the energy in the form of electric field and the units are farads. And inductance is the property which stores the energy in the form of magnetic field and the units are Henry. So by using these three components we can give four combinations for it. So those are RC combination, RL combination and LC combination and also RLC combinations. These are the four combinations that we have by using these resistor, capacitor and inductor. So in linear wave shaping we are, uh, we are getting the response of uh, linear network, right? So uh, by giving different types of inputs we are getting that response. By using these uh, uh, RC networks, we are finding the response of different inputs. So those inputs are sinusoidal and which will be like this, which has some form Vm, V of Va of t equal to Vm into sin omega t like that. And the next one is step and which will be like this and which will be represented as u of t and which equal to a for t greater or equal to 0 and it is 0 for t less than 0 and again ramp so which will be like this which is represented as r of t and which equal to alpha of t for t greater or equal to 0 and which is 0 for t less than 0 where alpha is the slope of this line straight line and again next one is pulse pulse is uh, like this so which may be uh, defined as two steps the combination of two steps which has inversion polarities so we have a rectangular or square input and also exponential input. So by using sinusoidal step ramp 
multiples, rectangular and exponential inputs, we are finding the response of linear networks. So, according according to the definition of linear wave shaping, we are altering uh, the shape of non-sinusoidal signal. So, and what about sinusoidal? So, whenever we are supplying an input as a sinusoidal to the linear network, then shape will not alter, but the gain will be changed. That means that output may increase or output may decrease. By that way, we are finding the gain values for sinusoidal and uh, for uh, step ramp pulse rectangular exponential inputs those are non sinusoidal so by that way we can alter the shape of that signal by using linear wave shaping let's see uh, what will be the effect of rc linear network okay so rc circuit can be divided into two categories one is low pass rc circuit and the second one is high pass rc circuit and these are the combinations of two combinations of rc network now let me tell you about lprc that is low pass rc uh, low pass rc is a circuit which transmits only low frequencies and at a newts high frequency signals LOs low frequencies and at a newts high frequency signals so in time domain the low pass rc circuit will be like this at the input stage we have a resistor at the output port we have a capacitor and the current in the circuit will be represented as i of t okay for now let me tell you about the working of low pass rc circuit low pass rc circuit the operation will be depends upon the reactance of capacitance the reactance of capacitance will be will be infinite for low frequency signals so then capacitor will act as open circuit whenever high frequencies are occurred the reactance will be zero then the capacitor will act as short circuit so whenever the capacitor is an open circuit this will be open then whatever the input we are supplying that entire input will appear at output port so the the circuit can allows all low frequency signals okay next whenever uh, we are supplying high frequency signal the capacitor will act as short circuit so the output will be zero for high frequencies so by that way it will allows low frequency signals and attenuates high frequency signals so coming to hprc the circuit will allows high frequency signals and attenuates low frequency signals so coming to high pass rc circuit so high pass rc circuit can allows high frequency signals and which attenuates low frequency signals okay so uh, this is the circuit of high pass rc in the input port at the input port we have a capacitor at the output port we have a, a resistor 
and this is the circuit and uh, the working will be whenever low frequencies are occurred low frequencies are occurred the capacitor will act as open circuit so it is open circuit then input will not transmit to output then output will be zero which means that it stops that low frequency signals so whenever we are supplying high frequency so whatever this will act as short circuit so whatever the input we are supplying here that entire input will be appeared at the output so which allows low high frequency signals so that is the operation of high pass and low pass rc circuits and this is the introduction part for linear wave shaping in the next video we will discuss about the responses of each input by using low pass rc thank you